So I use a recycled acrylic paint from my previous painting. I stick the toothpick to the starter ball in order for me to easily paint it. I start from the bottom until to the top. This time, I'm going to make protons and neutrons made out of yarn. My protons, I use color red yarn. Watch closely on my tutorial on how I made my small ball made out of yarn. Just continue spinning until you get the amount that you want. Make sure that the yarn on your fork is tightened. Just do what I did on my tutorial. And make sure to tie it two times. And carefully remove it on the fork. And carefully cut the excess yarn. Ta-da! Here you go! This time, I'm going to make a circle and trace it with my plastic plate. Cut it carefully with your scissors. It was very hard to cut it for me because it was so sturdy. So this time, I'm going to make a small circle with the use of our souvenir in our living area. And again, I carefully cut it. After I cut the circles, I put a double-sided tape and stick it on a vellum board. This time, I was making for our base. I covered our base with a short band paper and carefully attach the styro ball. Ta-da! And here is the result. So this time I glue down the wire on the base. And carefully attach the styro ball on the wire and making sure that it is on the center. Making sure that the second circle is on the center. And after that, I finally attach the protons and neutrons that are made out of yarn. And I also decided to paint our base into green since it was too plain. As you can see on my previous minute of this video, I was making a atomic structure or model. So let's define first protons, neutrons, and electrons. So protons are a type of subatomic particle with a positive charge. Protons are bound together in an atom's nucleus as a result of strong nuclear force. So neutrons is a subatomic particle with no charge, so they are neutral. So electrons is a stable subatomic particle with a charge of negative electricity found in all atoms and acting as the primary carrier of electricity in all atoms. Together, let's get our predictable of elements and look for beryllium. So the number 4 here is the atomic number of beryllium. BE here is the element symbol and beryllium is the element name and 9 here is the atomic weight or mass number. So atomic number is equal to the number of protons and equal to the number of electrons in neutral atom. So in order to get the, num the number of neutrons, we need to subtract the mass number or the atomic weight to number of protons. As I have said earlier, atomic number is equal to the number of protons and equal to the number of electrons. So our atomic weight 
Our mass number is 9. And protons is 4. So 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. So 5 is the number of our neutrons. And in order to get the atomic weight or mass number, we need to add the number of protons and neutrons. So our protons is 4 and our neutrons is 5. So 4 plus 5 is equal to 9. So 9 is our atomic weight or mass number. So here is the finished product of my atomic structure or model. So the materials that I use are recycled box, styro balls, yarns, and recycled colored papers which is available in our house. So I decided to use recycled materials or do it yourself like this one I did on the R protons and neutrons because it's very unsafe to get out of the house just to buy these said materials. And in order to save lots of money because many of our fellow citizens lose their jobs because of this COVID-19 or pandemic. So for our base, I use a recycled box and I put also a legend, which is color red one is for the protons, yellow one is for the neutrons, and the elections is color gray. So the atomic number of beryllium is four. By the way, I use the I choose the element beryllium. So our proton is color red, so it has four. One, two, three, and four. And for our neutrons, it has five. One, two, three, four, and five. For this one, these two here, I use a cartoon or recycled box. And I also use the recycled wire in order for my structure to stand. So that's how I did my project in atomic structure or model.